Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome again to our lesson for today, especially to our researchers. Um, today we will be talking about how to solve sample size using Slovene's formula. So today we will be talking about how to solve sample size or sample population size using Slovene's formula. Now, um, it's very important that we know how to solve uh, the, the sample size of our respondents. So one way to solve, to know the sample size is using Slovene's formula. So let's try to remember this, that the Slovene's formula is N, small letter N is equal to N, uh, capital letter N over one plus N E squared. So where N is the total population size and E, this one E is the margin of error. So let's try to solve this. For example, you want to you want to know the population size of um, the grade 12 of the grade 12, for example. So I have here sections, so section A, B, C, and D. A population size is the total number of students per class. So we assume that on section A, they have 50 students, section B, 48, Section C, 54. Section D is 60. That's a total of 212 students. Now, how are we, how are we going to solve um, for the sample size? So let's try to solve um, using Stovet's formula. Now, the N, the N here, N right here is 212. That's the total, total size right here, the population size, that's 212. So N right here is 212. Then one plus N E squared. So one plus N, that's 212. E right here is the Num uh, margin of error, which is 0 0.05, that 0 0.05, uh, multiplied by itself or squared right here. So let's try to solve. It's uh, 212 plus one, I 212 over one plus 212 times 0 0.05 multiplied by itself, that's 0 0.0025. So if we will try to multiply, please try to multiply 212 times zero uh, times 0 0.0025, that would be uh, 212 over one plus 0 0.53. The 212, again, this 212 will be multiplied by, by this. So the answer is 0 0.53. So we uh, will try to add one, one plus 0 0.53, so it on a, this one, uh, that's 212 over 1.53. Now, so the 212 over 1.53, we will divide this. The answer will be 138.56. So, or 139. We assume that the 0.56 right here is one person. There is no no 0.56 per sun month. So we will assume that this 0.56 right here is a one per sun. So this will be the total sample size is 139. So the sample size again is 139. Going back to our table, our population size is 112. It's just that we know that the sample size right here is 100. 
139. Now, the question is, how are we going to know how many students we will answer our, our survey questionnaire per section? So we will try to solve the percentage per section. So the sample size, our sample size again is 115, uh, 39 right here. And our sample size is, population size is 212. So we will divide 139 over 212, that's 65.56 or 66%, meaning we will try to multiply 50 times 66 percent. So that's the that's the number of students you will um, who will answer your sur survey questionnaire per per section. So well try uh, 50 times 0 .5 0 0.66 is equal to 33. 48 times zero uh, on section B, that's 48 times 0 0.66 or 66%, it's equal to 31.68. On section C, that's 54, the, samples, uh, the population size is 54, so 54 times 66%, that's equal to 35.64. And on section D, population size is 60, so uh, multiplied by 60%, that's 39.6. So just try to remember that all these must be equal to 139. So what are we going to do? Add the whole number first. So again, right here, that's 33, 31, 35, 39. So we'll try to add 33, 31, 35, 39. That's equal to 138. So kulang ng isa. So our sample size is 139, but the total, the total of all the whole numbers is 138. So um, again, we always assume that this point something right here is one person. So um, we will try to decide if uh, we, will, we will add one for section B, we will add one for section C, or we will add one for section B. So right here, I decided to add one for section B. So that's, so for section A, the sample size is 33. This one for section B, that's 31.68. So we will add one to make it 139. So that's 32. For section C, that's 35. Section B, that's 39. So we know that our sample size for the population size 212 is 39. Please try to add 33 plus 32 plus 35 plus 39. So that's equal to 139, meaning 33, 33 students out of, uh, out of 50, 33 students will answer your um, questionnaire on section A. 32 students out of 48 students in section B will answer your questionnaire and so on. That's 35 and 39.